Hello, greetings from the Farmer International Air Show. My name is Tony Osborne and I'm the London Bureau Chief for Aviation Week. Today we're looking at fighter jets and we're here in the BAE Systems Chalet to take a close look at what could be Britain's vision for a future fighter jet. This year's Farnborough doesn't have that many fighter jets. However, this year's show does have this. This is Tempest. This is Britain's vision for a future international multinational fighter. Uh, it was unveiled on the Monday of the show as part of the UK's combat air strategy. Its launch comes 12 months after France and Germany unveiled its ideas for a joint future fighter jet. Britain is taking a build it and they will come approach, i.e. it wants international partnership and wants partners to come and join it and support the development. Britain wants to arm it with advanced weaponry including lasers, it has an adaptive bay to carry different payloads including fuel or even uh, attributable UAVs. Notice its stealth design, it's a twin-engined aircraft and it's manned, but people are saying it could also be optionally manned as well. Britain is spending £2 million developing what it calls supporting technologies, which could be applied to manned or unmanned combat aircraft of the future. But it's putting a very aggressive timeline on its development. The UK wants this in service by 2035. Some of the features of this jet, we've got advanced weapons here like the spear-free precision-guided bomb and the Meteor Beyond Visual Range uh, missile. This aircraft will have very uh, impressive new engines and a very advanced power system that could drive uh, laser weaponry, but it also needs that engine to support the cooling of the aircraft to reduce its thermal signature and improve its low observability features. The key thing to remember is this is just a concept. The final aircraft may never look like this. It may even turn out to be a drone or a, another sort of optionally manned platform, but it does give us a powerful insight into the technology and the vision that Britain has to produce a future fighter. It almost seems certain now that Europe will probably develop two fighter jets. It's a very exciting time for the European defence and aviation industry. We'll be interested to hear your views on the stories and the videos that we've produced here at the show. So from me, Tony Osborne, from the Farnborough Air Show, thank you very much.